All right, guys, welcome back to another video. I'm spinning around here. Today we are doing a full day of eating. You guys love these. I love making them for you. I need to set you down. So it is like 10 o'clock right now. So we have some catching up to do from the morning. But first, as usual, guys, these full days of eating are intended to be fun, to give you different ideas, to talk to you more about the why behind my food choices. I am an intuitive eating registered dietitian. That's what I teach, preach, and what I live by. So that's what I do in these videos is show you how I how I do that, right? What it looks like on a day-to-day -day basis. But with that, guys, every single day is different. This is just today and we'll see how it goes. I will make a note. I'm feeling, feeling very lazy when it comes to food today. But like I said, not meant to tell you what to eat or how to eat. This is just one day. Every single day is different. Blah, blah, blah. The whole spiel that I always give, right? And I do like to do full days of eating. Keep some things ambiguous so they're not triggering to people. There's none of that comparisonitis there. So certain portions sizes may or may not be shown. So just kind of, it's more of, like I said, the why behind it and giving you guys ideas. Now that we got that out of the way, also guys, if you like these videos, I like creating these. I know you guys love them. Be sure to give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, all the things again, that shows me what videos you want more of. So I'll talk about this morning. So this morning I got up and today's Thursday. On Thursdays, I've started a new like morning routine where I'll get up and go to the gym, but it's not like a workout. It's more of the sauna is where I go. So that's been really fun just to get up, just lay in the sauna and just like relax. It's been a really nice way to give my body rest, right? We need that. We need rest days, but also to, I do some just kind of like thinking and just a little bit of meditation in there and it feels really good. So that's what I did this morning. But the funny part is when I came home and I was pretty hungry. So this is at like, it's like 6.30, 7 o'clock in the morning. I get home and I'm like, I'm hungry. So I had these pancakes that I had made earlier in the week. They're pumpkin pancakes. I made them and I was like, I'm just gonna have one of those. Maybe I'll put some peanut butter on it. You guys, the pancakes were moldy. So that went down the tube. I was like, crap, I gotta find something to eat. I'm hungry. So I just grabbed a peanut butter and banana and I had that for a little fuel in the morning. I didn't feel like, I mean, I had things to do throughout the morning. So I just needed something fast. And then I went and I got some flowers, you guys. I, there's this, I don't know, just a person was selling them. She's donating the proceeds to charity. So I went and got my little bouquet of flowers that they were selling. So I did that this morning. Moral of the story, it is now mid morning and I'm pretty hungry, right? I actually didn't realize how hungry I was. I got home and started working until now. So I'm going to make something that I have been eating on the regular and I'm gonna show you what it is. I kind of call it a deconstructed smoothie because like I said, I'm very lazy today and even getting out the, the blender sounds like way too much work. So basically the way that I make these, I'll show you. So what I do is I take a yogurt and then I add in frozen fruit. So today I'm using frozen mango. Oh, my husband made mango readers, you guys, and I cannot get enough mango. So today I'm adding frozen mango. I also got these Wyman's like fruit cups. They're like dipping dots for fruit. I'm going to add one of those just so I don't have to chop up a frozen banana. It's also got strawberry and blueberry in there. And then I'm going to mix this up. And really what happens is the yogurt starts to freeze. And then it kind of, like I said, makes kind of like a smoothie kind of thing. So I'm going to add some flaxseed, both round and whole, and I can explain why. And then some granola on top, right? We got our carbs, fat, protein, boom. That's what I'm having. Having this, if I'm still hungry, I'm just gonna eat some granola from the bag. That's all I got right now. So I will see you guys the next time I eat. I love this. I just finished lunch. I don't know if you guys are gonna, well, let's back up. So after breakfast, I was still hungry. That's okay. I ended up having some more granola and then I made some no churn ice cream. It's, it's gonna be up in time for Halloween. It'll be like a candy bar ice cream. So all that discounted leftover Halloween candy, you can make ice cream with it. So I made some of that. And of course I had some of the ice cream base. It is mind blowingly good and some of the chocolate. So I sat down that a little bit as I was eating it. There was literally no rhyme or reason besides it's delicious and I wanted some, but ate it in a way that felt good. Didn't feel like I had to now or never stuff myself. So we had that. Then I have just now lunch and I don't know if you guys are gonna think this is weird. I like sardines. I feel like it's kind of like a 
not a sexy lunch, but I think they're delicious. I tried them on a whim once. I was a big fan of tuna, but I just kind of like got tuna out. Like I got sick of it. So I had sardines. So if you get like weirded out by seeing fish, close your eyes because I'm going to show you them. So I had sardines. I put them on wasa crackers, wasa. Vasa, I want to say that right. So I took my can of sardines. First of all, the top broke, so I had to like finagle them out of there. But I put them on wasa crisp breads with thick slices of beefsteak, tomato, some mustard, and everything about the bagel seasoning. So good, you guys. So I, like I said, tried them on a whim. They are great. They give you protein. They give you a lot of omega-3s and calcium. And there are so many, so many nutrition benefits, but that's not like the reason that I tried them. I literally just wanted to try them. But I was like, oh, you know, I can dig these. And then yes, sometimes that does, the nutrition piece does play a role in when I choose them. You know, it's going to give me a lot more of those omega-3s than, you know, turkey slices would. So I incorporate them in there. It's also recommended to eat fish twice a week. So that kind of helps with that. You get those omega-3s and whatnot. But yeah, so that's what I had for lunch. And then I also had some leftover broccoli with Parmesan cheese because I was still a little hungry. And that's where we're at now. So I... I'm gonna go about my day. My kitchen is a mess from making that ice cream. I'm actually shooting a couple different YouTube videos now, so I'm gonna finish doing all of those. And then I'm actually filming another YouTube video on how I pick my snack, so we'll kind of recap that later on. But that's what we've got for now. Feeling good? All right, guys, so we just finished dinner. I came outside because it is gorgeous out. It's like the perfect temperature. Yeah, so we had dinner, feeling good, feeling satisfied. I feel like it hit all the marks. Carbs, fat, protein, had lots of flavor. Like, it's just such a good dinner. I'll link to that recipe in the description below. Yeah, it's a good one. It's still early. Like, I still got like an hour before I go upstairs and go to bed. I'm not really feeling dessert right now. I'm just like, I'm satisfied. I'm, I'm good. I think it was because I had the, maybe it was, I don't know. I'm just satisfied, but I had the, candy bar ice cream when I was eating it earlier. My husband did say, do we have candy bar ice cream? So I might have a bite of that, we'll see. But yeah, feeling good. And that's what today was like as an intuitive eater. Like I said, every single day is different, but I think moral of these intuitive eating Full days of eating is that it's not always just cupcakes and everything. It's not always just quote unquote healthy food. It's a mix. It's in a way that feels good. And it's that quote unquote balance that we're all looking for. So I will link below to the society, which is where I honestly teach thousands how to become an intuitive eater, right? Because your days are just so, today was so much easier than having to stress over food, than having to worry about it. And to be able to eat to satisfaction, then go about my day felt amazing. So I'll link to all that in the description below, but I hope this video was helpful for you in just maybe walking through the why behind my food choices, giving you some different ideas, because that's the whole goal of these things, right? So I will see you guys next week with another video. Be sure to hit subscribe, hit the bell to be notified every time a new video is uploaded. Give this video a like, all of the things, leave a comment. I love you guys, and I will see you guys next week with another video.